open your project in Unreal Engine 5. Next, click on the fab icon, or you can use your own material if you already have one. I will use a free brick wall material for this tutorial, which is called Rough Brick Wall on Fab. Download the highest quality available and add to your project. Once downloaded, go back to Unreal Engine. You can see our material here if you open the material instance. Next, go to Modeling Mode. Create a rectangle with width 200 and length 200. This is to match the dimensions of materials that are generally on fab. Place the rectangle in your scene and click Accept. Next, navigate to the Mesh menu and select Remesh. Change the target triangle count to 1 million and click Accept. This can take some time depending on your computer. If using a lower-end computer, you can half this amount. Drag the material onto the rectangle to apply it. Select the Deform menu, then Displace menu. You will see that the Perlin noise is automatically applied once you select this option. We are going to use the high map that comes with the material, so let's change the displacement type to Texture 2D Map. Select the height map and click the arrow next to Displacement Map menu to apply it. If your material does not have a height map, but an ORD map, use this with the blue channel selected instead. You can lower or increase the displacement intensity based on what you prefer. Click Accept once you are happy with the result. Go to Mesh, Simplify, and select UE Standard for the simplifier type with a target percentage of 10. This will reduce the triangle count from 1 million to 100,000. You can lower this to what works best for you. This can take some time so let Unreal Engine do its thing. Once complete, you will be able to click Accept. Go back to Selection Mode and select the rectangle. Press Ctrl-B to navigate to the folder containing the static mesh. You can rename the mesh by pressing F2. Right-click the mesh and tick the checkbox for Nanite Support. Congratulations, you have made a wonderful material with a displacement map that you can now use throughout your project. If this video helped you, please hit the like button or leave a comment below. Thank you.